Hello, welcome to my video. My other video got taken down by YouTube because apparently there was too much tags. Which, fair enough, but they could have just told me that there was too many tags. But, back to the video. Right, so if you're having this problem... Where the computer properties... Look, so if you see this... It says 1.95 gigabyte usable, but I've got 8 gigabytes. Right, to get rid of this, it's a pretty simple problem. So, what you need to do is click on here, MS config. Press enter. Look, and it opens up. Right, now go to the boot tab, advanced options, and Tick the box for maximum memory. This will basically be maximum memory that's available. Press OK and apply. And OK. Now what you've got to do now is restart. Now look, you can see that it's 8 gigabytes is back in right. So if this doesn't work. What one of the problems is that installed devices could be re reserving the RAM for themselves so it won't be used anywhere else. There could be more than one RAM stick, right? But make sure if you've got one more than one RAM stick, make sure that you've got similar RAM. So you don't want two different brands because that will not mess up the motherboard because the motherboard is fussy like that. And things like on onboard graphics could be using the RAM for VRAM because it's got nowhere else to go and you may be over the limit for your motherboard your RAM because your motherboard only supports a certain amount of RAM you might have an old buyer so go into the manufacturer's website so I'm HP so I'd go on the HP website the version of Windows 7 that is installed may not handle the actual RAM like Windows 7 Start Edition only supports 2 gigabytes of installed RAM and your RAM may not be in correct slots on your motherboard this is a simple error that could be made check them and if you've got more than 2 RAM sticks make sure they're in the same colour slot so 4 you'd have it in the same colour so blue and your RAM stick may be malfunctioning so swap it with another see if it's working and your RAM might not be recognised so make sure it's recognised by mashing the F10 key on startup before the Windows logo and then you, it will show all the where RAM is. And Windows might be reserving RAM for another process. Attempting a RAM refresh. So in Notepad, so in Notepad, let's go to Notepad. Type this. I type this. My string equals brackets eight one two three four five six seven. And you save that as a .vbe file. So save that as dot vbe so let's go on um, desktop one dot vbe and this makes your computer slightly a bit faster as well because it says the RAM you're not doing very well don't look like that you may not see a difference but that basically refreshes your RAM and so everything is redone and BIOS setting right in the BIOS setting you go into the BIOS F mashing the F10 key and start it before the Windows logo you go to the advanced tab, the chipset settings, enable memory reamp feature, exit and leave. And if none of these work, last resort is reinstalling Windows 64 bit if you're from 32 bit, or just reinstall and see if it works. Uh, buying a new PC, maybe even buying a Mac, and not eat, or just don't mess around with your RAM, just leave it and get another good PC, but then it'll be slow. Basically, it. thanks for watching, and hope, hopefully, YouTube won't do delete my video again when it nearly topped 80,000 views hopefully you guys my subscribers and anyone who's watched the video can help me out just give me a like 